Hey guys, how's it going? SK here, and today we're back on Mindvolt, and I have made an insane amount of progress. Now, I've been gone for a long, long time, and I really do apologize for that. I know I said I was going to do daily videos, and I'm going to have to stop that just because of time and busyness, but uh, I will do, hopefully, at least three or four a week, and the reason I've been gone was, well, it's, it's interesting, actually. I, uh... I'm a big, big fan of the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. It's the fifth Elder Scrolls like main series game. And I've had to stop playing it for a while because I know I know if I start playing again, I'll get addicted to it again. Well, not necessarily addicted. That's a term we always throw around. But I knew I'd get hooked on it again. And I didn't want to do that because then I'd get nothing accomplished and I'd play nothing else. And my friend was playing a bunch of Skyrim. He's like, hey, come check this thing out that I found. And I did. And then I started playing again. I played it for like a week and a half. So I haven't made any videos since before spring break, which has also contributed to that. So it's been about three weeks, or three or four weeks since I've made a good quality video. And I really do apologize for that. Like I said, just, wow, I had no idea I had so much wood in here. Okay. Uh, it's just a combination of things. So I do apologize, but we're back on track and we're going to do, we're going to start doing lots of videos, I think. I want to start cranking out videos and getting them out for you guys and doing some high quality videos frequently. Now, last night, I all of yesterday, yesterday was Saturday, I was thinking, I really just need to work on Mindvolt. I've been neglecting it for too long, and there's stuff that needs to get done. And so from yesterday morning all the way up until 4 a.m. this Sunday morning, I built these lovely beauties. Look at those. We've already got two of the four mob towers absolutely complete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way up to layer 126 or so. The same with that one. And of you, as you can see, I've already built one layer on the green one as well. And I decided this one will be yellow, so I'll have red, blue, green, yellow, and I think it's gonna look really, really beautiful and awesome as well as you can see i put these walls in and tore out the uh, stone brick border that went around on these two sides over here and over here not over in those yet because i haven't built the walls and i won't be building a wall over there it'll be like a big staircase feature opening because my i'll have a huge nether portal right in there and uh, I'm, I'm making hand gestures but like a really cool arch thing like that goes like this with a uh, big nether portal in the middle and then a stair feature coming down into my base. So as you can see, I've done an incredible amount of work in one day. I don't think I've ever built one tower from start to finish in one day, let alone two. So I'm very, very, very pleased with what I've accomplished. Now, I wanna go down and show you what we've gotten so far. I haven't checked it in a while. There's gonna be tons of like cobblestone and stuff there from all my building and tearing out and ripping through tunnels and things, just a combination of all that stuff, but yay, we have crap, <laughs> we are not doing too great, but that's because a lot of it I've spent up in the air, where things are gonna, if they get down into my water streams, they're just gonna despawn because they're too far away, plus uh, there are still tons of caves I haven't lit up, so once we have all four towers, all caves lit up, and I'm running around in a decent location in my whole base here. I'm going to be getting tons of drops, I think. It's going to be loads of fun, and I'm really looking forward to that. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you noticed yet, but my diamond sword and bow are not enchanted like they were last episode. I was going up my nether tunnel, and a gas shot at me, and I got hit off the side and fell, Broke my legs and landed near a pit of fire. So most or most of my stuff survived, like my good picks, which I'm really fortunate for because these are both good picks. My good shovel and uh, my pretty good axe all survived, and my armor. So that's good, and I was able to get everything except for my sword and my bow. So I really can't complain about that. But that does really leave me a reminder that I need to start working on a better nether tunnel and first i really realized there's no sense in this building being here anymore it really doesn't serve a purpose at all and it just looks ugly in the way of everything now so i'm gonna tear it out and 
see what it looks like without this here. Plus, we can get a much better view of everything when it's gone. That's what I'm really hoping for, at least. Now, I mentioned that uh, I want to start cranking out some more series. I think those are going to be... I'm going to get my prison series going again, and it's not going to be set on just Cooncraft, because right now Cooncraft is uh, in gear to reset soon, which I'm kind of happy about, because I, I, I think it'd be cool to have a basically different prison server to play on, because that's what it, it will feel like when it's been rebooted. And uh, also there's the Avalanche server, which I don't know if I've ever showed you guys, but it's one that I kind of participated in building. I didn't really help too much, but a little bit here and there. I helped design one of the blocks. Well, I actually pretty much designed C block almost all on my own. They finished it a little bit when I was gone, but I laid out the basic design for it. And so it's really cool to have been a part of that. And it's pretty, pretty cool server. It's not very big, so I'll leave the IP in the description if I remember to. And uh, if you guys want to get on it, you can. So I'll just uh, make my series pretty much between Avalanche and Cooncraft. And it'll just be prison server or jailbreak, prison server jailbreak or whatever it's titled right now. It'll stay that, and it'll just be a kind of collaboration of both of those. That'll be really fun. And I also, I'm going to start a uh, factions or maybe hardcore factions series also on Cooncraft because they have some really good uh, factions like capabilities. They've got a uh, factions and a hardcore faction, so I, I've yet to decide between that. I'm not really sure what entirely the difference is, but it should be really fun. Alright, I've been talking really fast. My mouth has already gotten dry. I still haven't moved any of the chests from over here. Whenever I need stone or hardened clay, I just run over here and grab it from the chest real quick. But yeah, I'm really happy with the progress I've made on here. And I want to... I don't want to do too much today because I'm going to be getting a prison server video out too for you guys and I want to be able to have time to work on that so I think what I'm going to do is start work on my nether tunnel now I'm going to probably make that out of polished and decide like the floor I think with diorite sort of thing too I'm really bad at explaining things and talking at the same time I, that's not one of my strong suits at all but if you can kind of imagine, I think when you're walking through like a mall and you have, um, you have like the tile, the different sections of tile. Yeah, I want kind of something like that because that's what these uh, new stone types look like is tile. And I have tile in my, in my real life house and I don't know, tile just looks cool. So I want to kind of incorporate that into this and see what we can do there i'll take one of these and i've got enough food all right we'll just run quickly to the nether oh obsidian and a uh, lighter oh, i left the flint and steel over here i'm slow today i think it's because I, like i said i went to bed at like four last night and i woke up i woke up at like nine this morning which is weird because i normally sleep in until nine or ten anyways but having like i, don't, I only slept that late after going to bed at four so i can tell i'm uh, not gonna be in a very good position tomorrow but i'll just keep charging on ahead and see what i can accomplish now and not worry about tomorrow it's gonna be an interesting day though all right i think that's really everything we need i'll put all the excess crap in there uh i have four arrows that should be fine for now i think chests we better take some chests there's two. Are any of these empty? Hello? Yeah, that one's empty too. Alright, there we go. Four chests. I need to work pretty soon on just clearing up and cleaning up my base as well. And just kind of polishing it, making it all look good. That's what I want to do. So like I said, I'll have the arch thing over here. I don't think I'm going to work on that for a pretty long time, but I will make my big nether portal. And I'll have to make a separate entrance into my mines because it's going to be kind of taken up by the nether portal entrance sort of deal. But I love that the first thing you walk, when you walk through the nether portal you see is it's going to be all four of these huge towers. Alright, let's turn the hostile creatures down so they're quiet now. Gas are pretty quiet now. 
All right, we'll just run along here, and I'll show you guys the nether hub. It's really not too far of a journey, but I will have to be digging everything out pretty low, and that's not going to be very fun at all. It's uh, it's going to be quite the chore, I think. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So, um, I'm kind of thinking of design as I go along for the nether pathway. It won't have any diagonals, just to kind of simplify things. So that'll make it easy to, easier to build. But I definitely want to incorporate a lot of the new stones and some stone brick as well, because I think all those really work well together. But first things first, I have to lower everything down to the same level as the nether hub itself. So I don't have to have any like powered rail. Well, I'll have to have any. Can't cannot talk today. I'll have to have some powered rails to get you going faster, but uh, I don't want any to have to push you up a hill or anything crazy like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to work and hopefully get to where my current uh, portal is, and I will see you guys when I've made it all the way over there. All right, guys, I've got the basic design down, as you can see, and I've already dug it all the way from the nether hub to my portal, which is right over there. And it is, it's basically complete. I still have to go in and make everything look pretty and dig out some more in there. So it's three by three. But I think that's going to be it for uh, for this episode because my internet's kind of bugging out and I can get in a lot of lag. And it's not very fun. Now, I'm kind of partial about this design. I like it. It's, uh, it's simple, but it's willing to change if you guys think it should. The thing I like about it is that it can't explode. If you guys, uh, if you guys don't like it, just go ahead and say so, and I'll try and find something better. Or even if you guys have a suggestion on what can make it look better, I will do that. Get, get it, get destroyed, you freaking ghast. No one loves you. And I'm pro. Okay. So that's going to be it for this. Thanks, guys, a lot for watching. Mindvolt Season 2, Episode 12. Oh, oh, wow, I can't believe I'm signing out already. A couple things that I forgot to mention. I am using Faithful uh, Texture Pack. I really like it. That's why I'm using it. It's been a long time since I've used it, and that's no reason to stop using it. So I think, you know what? Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Uh, I think I'm going to be, be back to using it because it's nice and I like it and I'm great with words. So um, that's that. And also UHC mode is off now because they fought the Ender Dragon and I was not here that time so I couldn't do it. It's a shame, but it's what it is. So now I'm uh, now I can say goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.